Hi, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with part one of two of our 2023 Top Series 2 Jumbo Doubleheader Case Break. Random team break number one. 12 total boxes. No vet common ship in this, um, but it's two big cases, jumbo cases. Part two is in a separate video. I'll put the link to that video in the video description. So take a look for that. Look out for that. We'll do a recap for the first case at the end of this video and then the second video recap will be at the end of the second video. And then that's where the wax party randomizer will be as well in that second case. Part two of the video. All right. So with all that being said, big thanks to this group for making it happen. Got a nice new release day going here. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One and a three, four times each. One, two, three, and four. We got Ken down to Dave. One and a three, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and four. So after four times, we got the Atlanta Braves down to the Astros. All right, Kenneth with the Braves, Brian T with the Cardinals, Barry with the Mariners, Tristan with the Royals, Austin with the A's, Jeremy with the Twins, Andy with the Cubs, David M with the Reds, Brian with the Mets, Eric with the Marlins, Brian with the Diamondbacks, Mark with the Angels, Tristan with the Nationals, Jared with the Red Sox, Michael with the Orioles, Orioles, Tristan with the White Sox, Brandon with the Yankees, Tristan with the Tigers, Anthony with the Blue Jays, Nancy with the Phillies, Tristan with the Giants, Brian with the Rockies, Steven, you got my Dodgers, Michael with the Rays, Brandon with the Rangers, Kevin, last spot mojo, Pirates, Russell with the Brew Crew, Scott with the Padres, David M with the Guardians, David D with the Houston Astros. All right, let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals done in this double header, so let's get on with it here on a Wednesday. Hump day, the 7th, new release day. It's been a good new release day. Double header, two cases, so let's go. Second case is right here. That's going to be in a separate video. looking for one autograph per jumbo box and two relic cards per box on average. The key, the key uh, rookies we're looking for, Jordan Walker, um, Masataka Yoshida, Anthony Volpe, Francisco Alvarez, James Altman, Corbin Carroll. We got these box toppers right here. Cal Ripken Jr. And let's see what we got in here. We got Cubs Angels on in the background. I think the uh, Angels are up 6 2. Yeah, 6 2 the only game in progress right now. All the other games are in the books. That, did I have any picks today? I did. I had a tiny little bit on Detroit. That game was postponed. I had a little bit on Houston. They lost by a run. That's I was on Cincinnati. They won. They beat my Dodgers. I was on the Cardinals. I think that might be sad times, too. 
No, they they beat the Rangers one nothing. All right, and then what about Colorado? No, they lost by a run to the Giants. Right. Mixed mixed results. Better than yesterday though, I think. Keep in mind, no vet commons will ship, but obviously that's a parallel that will ship. Inserts, of course, ship. You know, so Whit Merrifield will not be shipping, but obviously all rookies will ship. Like James Altman to the Dodgers. That's going to go to Steven. And in case I miss any of those key rookies that we were talking about, don't worry, all those rookie cards are going to ship. Just in the interest of time, I may try to pick up the pace a wee bit on, on this one. Uh, the Rojas is to 2023. That's also for the Dodgers. Obviously, all, all numbered. All numbered vet players will ship because they're not common. Chad Pinder will ship, and this will ship. Francisco Alvarez, rookie relic, major league material, rookie relic for the Mets. It's for Brian T of the Mets. Nice. And we'll do a recap of the first case at the end of this video. We've got Jake Fraley for the Reds, and we got a Triple Crown winner, Ty Cobb. A commemorative relic there. Going to the Tigers. That'll be for Tristan and the Tigers. There's Anthony Volpe. All those will go to Brandon from the Yankees. Bobby Dalbeck. Fujinami. This guy hit the uh, the walk off against my Dodgers. I think Dodgers have dropped four in a row. It's a little weird weird patch. The Dodgers. And there's our autograph. It's Gabriel Moreno. Rookie auto for the Blue Jays. That's for Anthony. Got randomized Toronto.
Taiwan Walker and a Joey Bart to 2023. For the uh, Giants, really for Tristan. Remember, uh, remember Mickey Moniak, ladies and gentlemen? He's on the Angels now. Had a really hot, like, week or two. Cooled off considerably. And then uh, maybe he's heating back up again. Some of you may remember him as the former uh, Phillies. First overall pick. I think he battled a lot of injuries. Here is a gold Anthony Volpe and a Joey Gallo orange. So twins, that's going to go to Jeremy Port. That's the 299. Gold Volpe going to Brandon and the Yankees. Nice. It's the kind of stuff we want to see. But Moniac went like what? One for three with a three run double, I think. That Broke the tie. We like Jordan Walker too, that's for Brian T. Brian Della Cruz and to four ninety nine, Avicel Garcia. Eric C. with the Marlins. All right, box one in the books. Let's get the silver packs. Sometimes there can be numbered cards in here and sometimes autographs. Francisco Alvarez right here, though. That's nice. Brian. Posey, box topper. So everything's the final now uh, in Major League Baseball. White Sox at Yankees. It's postponed due to all the all the fires in Canada, all that ash on the East Coast. So is the Phillies game. Detroit at Philadelphia also canceled. They're going to try to make that game up tomorrow. Angels three hit the Cubs, beat them 6 2. Looks like Austin Slater drives in a run in the seventh and eighth and helps the Giants rally to a 5 4 win over the Rockies. Burleson homers. Alec Burleson for the Cardinals homers. It was the lone run in the Cardinals Rangers game. 1 0. Cardinals. Uh, Marcus Simeon's 25 game hitting streak ends today. Ofer for him. Brewers beat the Orioles 10 2. Rookie center fielder, Milwaukee rookie center fielder, Joey Weimer, had two home runs and five RBIs. Nice. Don't need to watch Angel's post-game show.
maybe we'll have a quick pitch lined up. All right. I'll go through some of the other games in the next box. Tell you what happened here on Wednesday the 7th of June 2023. Victor Robles and our autograph. It's for the Cubs, Christopher Morell. Rookie auto for the Cubbies, Andy with Chicago. Mm Francisco Alvarez, what a swing. Homer for him. It's good for the hobby. And there's Will Benton to 2023. The guy, I'm pretty sure he was the one that hit the walk off homer against my Dodgers earlier today. Bomber in the night. Fujinami and Trey Turner to 72 for Nancy and the Phillies. Drew Rasmussen. Yoshida going to Jared and the Red Sox. Yeah, Jared has the Red Sox. And Brian T. has the Diamondbacks. He'll be getting these Corbin Carrolls. Mars Newt Bar to 2023. Newt Bar's fired up here, look at that. He's from El Segundo, California, just a little, uh, just a little north of Jaspi Sports Cards and Collectibles. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe Lars can stop by in the off season. 
And there's Aaron Nola. That'll be for Nancy and the Phillies. Got a Jordan Alvarez Silver Slugger Award winner commemorative relic to $299. And that will be for David Duffy and the Astros. Rex, you've heard of Jaspi Sports Cards and Collectibles? Yeah, I heard they're, I heard they're all right. Just about maybe about 10 minutes south. 10 minutes south of where Lars and Newt Bar went to high school. We're in Hermosa Beach, California. Maybe, maybe Newt Bar could open up some Series 2 for us. Those are your silver packs. And another box. Some record breakers. The Ryan Express. Steams past the big train. The big hit express. Got a lot going on, a lot of train action happening there. All right. Mets at Braves. Braves beat the Mets 7 to 5. Looks like Michael Harris Homer lifts the Braves to a 7 5 win and deals Mets' first five game skid since 2021. Reds deliver the Dodgers their fourth loss in a row, 8-6. Ellie De La Cruz hit his first home run, 458 feet. Ahmed Rosario, Josh Naylor each had three hits and an RBI. Josh Bell drove in a run. Guardians beat the Red Sox 5-2. Blue Jays beat the Astros 3-2. Kirk, Alejandro Kirk, drives in the go-ahead run in the seventh. Chris Bassett working in eight working eight innings. Would it be would it be weird to grow up somewhere than play for a team against a team that you lived? Yeah. Lars New probably did grow up a Dodger fan. Yeah, it's got to be weird. Although, I think if you're at a professional level, at least that's this is what I hear. I think, you know, if you know you're going to be a professional, I think that sort of stuff goes out the window. There's Blake Snell to 299. A little damage on that card there. I don't know, I'm not sure if Topps is going to replace a card like this, but I'll give you a, I'll give you a pack here. Scott and the Padres. We'll see if they, they'll do something for you there.
And how many? Just four innings? Wow. That's pretty good. You know, someone was mentioning this yesterday that in the chat now there's a there's a heart emoji there. Which I don't mind if you want to show us some love. Here's uh, Greg Weissert for Brandon. Wouldn't mind except it floats right on top of the last bit of text when people are chatting. I guess I can just look at the chat up, up, up there. Dell, Carlos Perez to 2023. Oh, there's that Alec Burleson home run that we were talking about. We got out of 50. That might be the you know, Father's Day parallel, something like that. There you go. That'll be for the Reds, David M. Is that how you pronounce it? There's Kyle Wright. Oh, what a what a play by the by the ball boy here. gone down the rabbit hole of uh, watching ball girls or ball boys like in the in foul ground saving people's lives it'll be like just a line drive foul ball just a screamer heading straight for the fans heading for someone's head and you see like you see like some kid like leap up and make an amazing catch Isbell and Igai Rosario to 2023. That'll be for the Padres. That's going to go to Scott. Got Logan Webb and a relic car. That's Rafael Devers, piece of his jersey. <laughs> right, yeah, that ball girl that climbed the wall to catch the ball. It's like she was Spider Man or something. Who 
who who who did that video? I think it was, it was uh, Yoshida goes to the Red Sox. I think it was was it Nike or was it Gatorade? Here is your NL League leader in average, Willie Mays, back in 1954. That's going to go to the Giants, Tristan. Austin Hedges, and look at this. A super short print, Nick Gordon. Nice. That's for Jeremy Port and the Twins. Cool card. How they shot that ball girl climbing the wall video. Some sort of some sort of movie magic. Juan Soto right here, walking at a record pace. In April, Nelson Cruz became the oldest player in the Padres history with a five-hit game. Who is the youngest Padre with a five-hit game? Amarista. Trampolines, maybe? Maybe some wire work? Um, Zach Davies earned his first victory in more than a year for the Diamondbacks. I'm going to see the National 6 2. Corbin Carroll also homered. Randy Arzarena hits leadoff homer in the ninth. Twins beat the, Rays beat the Twins 2 to 1. Razor at what, 45 wins now? Luis Arias singled twice and actually raised his average to four, from 401 to like 403. I mean, if he's still hitting like that after the All-Star break, that'd be really interesting. That'd be a fun thing to watch. Luis Rengifo and Ichiro. Uh, 
Kyle Tucker, and we've got an Eloy Jimenez to 50, relic and autograph. Nice. That's for the White Sox. That's going to go to Tristan. Want a spot in the filler? Got randomized the White Sox in this doubleheader. And gets the uh, Eloy Jimenez to 50. Juan Soto, five hits. Tony Kemp, and then we got to 2023, Charles Le, uh, LeBlanc, and Matt Carpenter in that sort of camo parallel. This that might be short, shorter, shorter printed. It's the first one I've seen. I've done a couple cases today. Talk about worst trades in here, but have the Dodgers had a horrible trade? Absolutely. As recently as a handful, a few years ago, when the Dodgers traded some guy named Jordan Alvarez for a relief pitcher named Josh Fields. I don't know where Josh Fields is, but we know where Jordan Alvarez is. There is Jan Gomes and out of 76, Austin Riley. No, Piazza was a trade. That was probably that's a that's a bad trade too. And I think before that, well, yeah, he was drafted by the Dodgers. Oh, you mean Jordan? Yeah, Jordan was in the minor leagues. So he never actually made it up to the big club, but yeah, he was traded. Piazza was traded. That was not a good trade either. Um, they traded away, Dodgers in the early 90s, I think, traded away, uh, Josh Fields isn't even in baseball, he's out of baseball. Yeah, rarely does a GM ever second or ever regret their decisions. They always, you know, they always stick to their guns. They're confident dudes. And they're like, yeah, you know, I made the trade. I thought it was the right trade to do at the time, you know? But I think Dodgers uh, GM, Andrew Friedman has actually admitted, yeah, if I could take one back, that, that, that one would be it. I mean, Dodgers have done fine as a team, but just in terms of an individual deal, you know? Dodgers also traded away. Dodgers also traded away Pedro Martinez, Hall of Famer Pedro Martinez. They had his brother Ramon Martinez, who was also kind of a, a lanky dude. But Pedro was even shorter and lankier than uh, than his brother Ramon Martinez, who was a solid pitcher in his own right. And then you're, then, um, so they traded, I forgot what they, they traded him to the Expos way back when. For, there's Lorraine Gifo to 2020, for Delino De Shields maybe, among others. Yeah, I, I would, I would venture to guess that every team has a, a horror trade story. But yeah, they, they, but yeah, they thought Pedro Martinez would be too small, too frail for the rigors of Major League Baseball. But it ended up being a pretty durable pitcher and is a Hall of Famer. Mike Trout.
piece of his jersey going to Mark. But yeah, the Jordan Alvarez thing, I think uh, I think it's kind of like, um, whatchamacallit, like Tatis Jr. Sometimes a lot of people forget that he was, um, he was in, the, in the White Sox organization before being moved to the Padres. It was Vito Brujan, and we got Stan the Man Musial. RBI and average league leader. Also traded. They traded away Paul Canerco, who ended up, I think, hitting four or five hundred home runs. Four hundred, four hundred home runs. Ended up hitting a lot of home runs. <laughs> We got a Randy Arozarena. Nice. Gold to 50. That's pretty cool. This is this he was a former Cardinal, I think. Michael Gallucci with the Rays. That that would be a trade that the uh, That would be a trade the Cardinals, I'm sure. Would, who did the Cardinals get for Randy Arozarena? Matthew Libertor, maybe? Yeah. You gotta, gotta pay attention to those minor league teams because you never know. You never know when a future star may be, may be there. And you could be the one that said, hey, I saw, I saw him first. What else? Are we talk about the Padres. I think we're. I don't know where we left off. Arzarena, leadoff homer. Luis Arias raising his average 403. Juan Soto with five hits. Padres beat the Mariners 10-3. A's win consecutive games. That's the that's the little mini headline in the ESPN scoreboard area. That's news. That's news if you're the Oakland A's. That counts as news. All right, the record breaker is Mickey. I fell asleep for like two hours and we're still doing series two. <laughs> yep, 
You must have fell asleep, Jill, when we were doing series two, pick your team three. While you were napping, we took we did a uh, a handful of fillers, and now we're starting a double header, Gilo. This is it. This is this is going to bring us to the end of the night. We're only forty five minutes into this one. Still have two boxes left, and then another case in part two. We're going to do it in a separate video. There's Jordan Diaz to one ninety nine. Happy new release day, Gabe. You took a two hour nap? Or was that unintentionally you fell asleep for two hours? You're gonna be wide awake. You're gonna be up all night. And look at this. We've got Paul Molitor, American League All-Star autograph. That's pretty neat. That's gonna go to the Brew Crew. That's gonna go to go to Russell and the Brewers. Took me a, well into adulthood until I realized that that's that that's an M and that's a B for Milwaukee Brewers. Oh man, you're screwed, Gila. You're gonna be up all night. Fabian Pertuz is the guy to look out for, huh? Cole Calhoun, Lars Newtbar, local boy. Justin Turner. That's Justin Turner. Rex, I'm trying to think of uh, some recent bad trades by the Cubs. I feel like I feel like I remember some of their poor free agent signings. The poor trades? Can't think of any off the top. I'm sure there has to be some. Every team's got, got one, but I just can't remember any off the top of my head. Oh, that's a good one. Eloy, Eloy Jimenez. Dylan Cease to the White Sox, the rare intra-city trade. Intra-city trade? What about Gilo's Royals? Dalbeck, Verlander to 
Jordan Walker. Hop, Oscar Colas to 499, Green, and Matthew Libertor. I think he was the other side of that Randy Arozarena trade. Or at least part of it. Not, there wasn't a one for one, I don't think. That's for St. Louis. That'll be for Brian T. Oh man, Chilo's disoriented. Chilo, it's like, what time is it? It's like midnight out there. Later than that. It's 10 o'clock my time. No, yeah, it is midnight your time. Well, you're screwed. You're not going to follow. What time do you work tomorrow? No, my question was, Rex and I were talking about, like, bad trades that your organization has made. We can open this up to anybody who's listening right now who wants to chime in. But tell us your team and the bad trade. And there's Luis Arias. We'll probably win another Silver Slugger. Corbin Carroll's that fast? Are they are they proper rivals? Ah, it's probably just a, just a city thing. It's probably they're they're battling for market share mostly. Is that kind of battle? Yeah, we we've got some nice uh, autographs out of out of series two. We got, uh, you know, we pulled a Francisco Alvarez autograph, a Jordan Walker redemption, but it's still an autograph. We haven't seen Volpe yet, or have we? I don't think we've seen a Volpe auto yet. Jason Richardson for Brandon Wright. I don't remember Jason Richardson. Ah, Pete Alonzo patch auto to 10. By the way, here's some. Yeah, Dodger killer, Ellie De La Cruz. I think that's that's the moment Noah Syndergaard probably realized maybe maybe my my career as a baseball player is nearing an end. But I was watching that game live, Joe Pizzle. We, we were here. We were watching. I was maybe in the middle of a break. Maybe I was doing some series two. It's like one of those things where my my we got my, if you ever see my eyes dart up there, that's where the TV is is mounted. But but I was kind of half watching out of the corner of my eye. 
Then I heard, I heard it first off the bat. And I turned my head in time to see the ball go to the, what, the second to last row in right center field or something like that. Oh. Jalen remembers when the World Series, Carl's Bell transfer basically nothing. And I was a th three team trade. I think I kind of remember that. I guess every trade the A's have done last year for the whole that's true. All right, final box of the first case. Scott saying Mets have made a history of bad trades. Now, every team has made bad trades before, but who do you think has made the most bad trades in Major League history? Mets traded away Tom Seaver? I didn't realize that. Nolan Ryan, I remember. Nolan Ryan, I think, at that time, well, I guess at the time was understandable, but I think, uh, yeah, I guess that's ultimately a bad trade. I feel like if you look at the... I think if you look at the Padres, I feel like the Padres, you could build a Hall of Fame infield or a Hall of Fame uh, team. You can feel the Hall of Fame team with the Padres, that players that Padres have traded away. And it's not, it's not, it wasn't even like players that were that the players that were in the farm system and they traded them away, these were these were players that actually were that had made it and were I think good. I think they traded away Ozzie Smith, right? I want to say they traded away. Speaking of the Padres, there they are. They traded away um, Dave Winfield, I want to say. I feel like there's a, a, there's a bunch of other examples. Yeah, Roberto Alomar, there you go. Did they trade away an Alomar, maybe? Catcher? And we got some Bo Naylor, nine out of 50. Nice one for the Guardians. That's gonna be for David. Cleveland, this is for you. Was, it, was Sheffield for Hoffman? Was that really the deal? I forgot about that. If that's the case. That might, that might have been okay. It's an okay deal. Yeah, they did get Tatis Jr. for James Shields, so that's, that's pretty good. I think recently it's been a lot better. But I think there's like a group of players in like the 70s or 80s where, where they all ended up being like at least multi-time all-stars, if not, if not more than that.
Really, I did. I forgot that Zach Wheeler was in the Giants. Paul saying Giants have traded Brian Reynolds and Zach Wheeler. Got Ezekiel Tovar to 2023. That'll be for the Rocks. Brian. The sell-off pirates got from the Cubs, right? Brubeck, Hernandez. Pirates gave up. Amar's Ramirez, Kenny Lofton. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, both of those players. At first, I don't even know. who Did they even make the majors? We got David Ortiz. In the name, Relic. One of one. Wow. Uh, series two can provide surprises like this, ladies and gentlemen. That's Jared with the Red Sox. Won the Red Sox, or won his spot from a filler. Got randomized the Red Sox. And gets the O of Ortiz. Game use memorabilia. Pretty nice. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. Yeah, very similar to the uh, the Otani O. The Brian Della Cruz to 2023. For Eric Christensen. All right, not bad for the final box of the first case of this double header. Next case will be in a separate video. The link will be in the video description in this particular video. And we got a Jordan Groshans to 150. Another one for Eric and the fish. All right, there you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I'll do a recap for this first case though. Not bad. The Bo Naylor, Paul Molitor, Trout Relics, Eloy Jimenez, Bat and Autograph, the Super Short Print for the Twins, Nick Gordon, Willie Mays, some fun little relics, Christopher Morell, Major League Material, Francisco Alvarez, and the Ortiz. Oh. And there you go, boys and girls. That was case one of two. Next case will be the next video, jazbeescasebreaks.com.